going to tidy myself up a bit there. There we go. And then what we've got today is Kiara on the camera. Being very rude and cheeky tonight. And me here. So I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes, see who joins us, see if anybody does join us. I know we've got Simon coming tonight. He came by earlier on to pick some bits up, but I wasn't here. And he did say he was going to join me at six o'clock. So I was on live yesterday and I was making a t-shirt, which has now been washed and in the ironing basket out of this fabric. This is the Tilly and the Buttons stripe fabric. And uh, I got this from Craft Cotton Company. It's lovely fabric, really, really nice shade of that purple lilac colour. And I had quite a big bit of leftover, really, remnant. So I thought I would tonight make the, I keep forgetting the name, it's the Wonder Undies, Waves and Wild Wonder Undies. I've made these a few times. Um, the pattern's really nice, actually. You can download it, it's an Australian company, but you can download it PDF. You don't need many pieces. And um, don't take long to make, to be honest with you. There's some options in there of how you want to make them. Um, but we're going to be going more for like the kind of boxer short kind of style tonight, I suppose. Um, I've cut them out ready and I've still got quite a bit left. So I was thinking when I was going through my patterns, I've got another one here that I've never made called the, but again, it's a waves and wild. I've got to refresh myself on what it looks like, but it's called the amber singlet. And thinking about the words, I think it's going to be like a little cute kind of vest. So I might give that a cut and see what it's like. And then I'll have like pants and vest. Kathy says, hey again. Hi, Kathy. How are you doing? What's it like today over the, the waters your way? What's it like? What's the weather doing? It's been kind of, I don't know, I would say muggy today, but you can feel the shift change. And I spent the night on the sofa because Mark was snoring. And it was quite chilly downstairs last night. I was quite surprised. Going to get my cup of tea. We've eaten tea quickly tonight, so I've been rushing around. I've had a busy day at work. So. She says it's been cooler with a bit of rain. Yeah. We've had some spit spots and I did get the washing in. But it probably wouldn't have mattered if I didn't, to be honest with you. So, right, we've got a few people watching, so I'm going to make a start. I have set up the overlock, well, I've left it from last night, really. And I've got a white thread in the sewing machine. So I'm going to make it on both machines um, and we will see how we go. Shouldn't be too long a make tonight, so we might get an early finish. Okay, so just to run through the pattern with you. Now I've traced it off um, because at some point I know I did an adaptation. Because when we, can we just drop the camera a little bit so I can show the nether regions. Oh, hello everybody. Oh hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Malfunction time. Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm working on it. We have equipment. Yeah. And it's... There, there we go. go. Right. So on, on the, the boxer short kind of pants, they kind of go across and then you've got the shape sort of round here. And what I've done is alter how sort of high that comes because these are quite, they can cut quite across there. And the way it recommends you to finish the, the leg holes off is with like a rib banding, which will be the same as what you do at the waistband. And I'm not going to be doing that. So I actually raised it just a little bit here, not massively so. And I am not going to be putting the, the ribbing in down here. Instead, I'm going to be using one of these. I'm not sure which one yet. There we go. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes and make a decision closer to the time. So in terms of what pattern pieces we've got, this is our back pattern piece. And what we do is we cut it, oh hello, wrong way. We cut it on the fold here. And then we have our front pattern piece, which is here. Again, cut on the fold, just there. 
we have the gusset which we cut two of and then we have the a piece for the top band and again the piece for the the leg holes as well so i've cut them all ready and we have got the back of the pants here now if you do want to make an alteration to that leg hole here which is what i've done then all you need to do is whatever you do to the front just make sure that this point here from there to there matches the back like so and then they will meet just fine the construction varies depending on whether you're putting the the bands down at the bottom of the legs compared to when you want them to use your your ribbon detail so we are going to be doing it a different way that I've not done before at all today so let's see how that goes so like I say I've cut my fabric pieces out already and I'm going to show you I had to have a little think this bit mind boggles me a little bit and I don't really know why we've got two gusset pieces as I mentioned you can cut two of the same it's absolutely fine but I actually have this it's just a plain cream very soft I think it's bamboo jersey that I tend to use on the linings when I make undergarments all you do is you have the right side of the fabric of this one facing upwards and this edge here actually meets the bottom of the back of your underwear so here's the back piece and I'm going to line up that bottom edge seam like so make sure it's all nice and straight there now when that's all in place we then take the outer gusset piece and we line it up matching at the bottom edge making sure our fabrics are right sides together so when they're lined up we're going to pop in a few pins just to hold it all in place like so and then what I'm going to do is take this, you can either take it to your sewing machine or directly to your overlocker and stitch straight across at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So we're going to go to the overlocker. So we're already set up and I'm going to, when Kiara's got, got herself nice and still, line that up. And I'm only going to take the very smallest amount off the edge. Taking the pins out as we go. Because you don't want to bend them. Well, they won't cut. It'll just break the blade instead. And then I would be very unhappy because if you damage one of those needles, see, we always think there's only two needles in an overlocker here, but there actually isn't. There's two more needles that people seem to be very unaware of. Let me show you, actually, because that's a really interesting point. I'm going to try and show you. If I lift this foot up now, can you see under here, oh, I don't know if you can, there's actually two needles that run horizontally, like that. They run straight like that. And there's two little pins, one slightly longer than another. And it's actually those pins that would get damaged more than, well, and the blade would get damaged. And then you actually have to replace the whole blade that these pins are set into. And that costs about 20 pounds to do. So it's a mistake you don't really want to be making. I'm fiddling because there's bits of dust in there. Right, we're gonna go back to the table. Any questions so far? Apart from the ones about the malfunction that we, didn't, that we had. <laughs> leave them ones alone yeah stuff happens doesn't it right so here we go so we've got our outside piece matching the outside there and the inside piece just there so now I'm going to take my remaining well it's the front panel and if you think logically you need to have um, all those panels so that you can see them so if I was to lay it out here I'm going to do it this way because the written word instructions get a bit confusing to be honest so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out like that because if you think in a really logical way it all needs to flow so when you've done that then lay it over like so to line up those raw edges 
and pen. I am going to be thinking quite slowly as I make this because I do get confused. You're right, Kiara. Yeah. Toke what looks like James Bow Warren wants to make some new pants with a laughing face. Fair enough. Good on you, James. Why not, eh? Right, so we're going to sew that in now. And then what we have to do is attach the other gusset piece here, over here. So if I just switch these pins around now, because it's just holding it together for now. Well, James replied saying, Toke and Stone, yes, yes, I'm tuned in here. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this back panel here. My screen's gone blank, Kiara. Is there a reason why? Is it, can everybody else see okay? Yeah. Or was it just my screen? That's I fine, I won't worry about screen. it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, the back panel for my pants, we're going to roll it down until we can get to the remaining raw... Re free edge of the gusset piece and we're going to bring it down to meet that edge that we've already pinned. Oh, Toke's put it froze. Did it? Mm. Oh, it's okay now. <laughs> oh, good. Good stuff. Right, and now we're going to sew along the edge here. Kiara, just whilst I sew this, because people don't need to watch this particularly, because I'm only going to sew again, yes. can you just set up that little mini iron for me, please? Okay. And I just sew, sew away. Right, so... That's all like that, a bit of a pickly mess. We don't really want that. But if I just now pull everything through, I've got a little mat here, it's all right, love. Oh, okay. All being well, we've got a pair of pants here with all of those sewing lines hidden away inside here. Can you see? Perfect, top and bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly iron this so it's nice and flat. That is what I am going to do. It's quite off-putting that my screen's black because I'm convinced that nobody can see us. Thank oh, you. Do you want me to come on, try No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Is everything okay, Toe? Can people say... I mean, you've got the worst signal in the world down where you are, so. So just give it a little eye in, make it nice and flat. There we go. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but some of those edges are just a little bit wider than others. Can we see that all right there? Um, for ease, what we could do is sew those edges together so to make it nicely, firmly as one piece, keep it nice and neat. Um, what I might do, actually... Jeanette said that it is very clever and Toke and Kathy and Louise all say it's all the, the screens are fine. Oh, brilliant. Can you just pass my rosary because please? Good. I will stop worrying then. That's what I'm going to do, everyone. So I'm just going to get my blade now and I'm just going to follow that curve around just to nibble away anything that I can say that I don't want to be there. So, who has made pants that's watching me before? Anybody? I have got the Tilly and the Buttons um, pants pattern. I bought it ages ago, but I've just never got to making it. Right, so now, if we were making the pants with the the, the, the ribbed edge in all the way around we would go on now to sew up the sides of our pants together and then we have the top and then we have the legs but we're not going to do that we're going to add this binding like I mentioned um, Louise said no but she wants to pardon? Louise said no but she wants to do it, what's holding you back? some lovely patterns out there you know there really is and then when you've made some pants you'll start thinking oh you could make some swimwear there's some nice swimwear out there. So, for example, um, 
the Sandpiper swim set I really like. I'm just trying to get this bit of elastic off. I went to Boys to get my knicker elastic stuff. They always have behind the counter to be told they don't do it anymore, so that's quite annoying. Jeanette put never and wouldn't know where to start, and James put I do solemnly declare I have never made pants, but maybe after this I shall start. There you go, James. Come for a knicker lesson, mate. <laughs> right, so we've got this. It's beautiful, really, really nice. Edging, really nice. I'm trying to think how I make this. Now, please put my confidence and anxiety. My, my confidence and anxiety is what is stopping her. Right. Right. What we're going to be doing with this is ultimately, are we in close enough just in this area here, Kiara? Please, because I really want this to be close enough. Right. So at the minute, this edging is the right, the nice side facing upwards towards me. The wrong side's just a bit more smooth, which is great against the skin, but we want pretty on our underwear. And we want it to finish like that, really, or in the region of that. Jeanette, but we don't want to see this raw edge here. That's the elastic part that scares, that scares Jeanette. Oh, don't, Jeanette. darling. Right, so with this underwear here, if you get a really nice jersey fabric like this, the, the bit that you might be worried about, I don't know, I'm just guessing, is how much do you stretch it when you're sewing it in? If I'm honest, I'm not going to be sewing much at all. I don't really think it needs it. If you're worried, look, you could sew that on top if you wanted to. That looks just as nice, doesn't it? It's just I'm going to be sewing, choosing to sew it on the underneath. But just play, just lay it out, have a play. And don't worry, Christ, you know, I'm not bothered. I mean, I'm not going to be showing these off, to be quite frankly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing this now so the right side is against the right side of the underwear. And I'm going to sew it with a narrow zigzag all the way along. Now, I'm going to start at this end though, because I always like my fabric to be on my right hand side. And that means I want the other end of my flipping ribbon. Now, I'm not going to worry about cutting it off just yet. I'm going to leave a tiny overhang, because why not? And I'm going to line up the edge together, like so. I'm going to pop a pin in just to hold it to start off with. But I'm not really going to bother as I go along. So if I show you, this is nice and flexible here. Watch how much I'm really going to pull it when I sew. That's it. That's all I'm going to pull it. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like pants that dig into my legs. And the more I pull it, the more it's going to dig. And that's the very reason why I don't put the bands on down here. Because I have done, but then you get that feeling of all that bulk around your sort of thigh area. And I don't like it. So one more time, I'm holding it like so. Pull to about there. Very gentle. And it'll just give back in as I let go. And we're going to aim for a little narrow zigzag as we go along here. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. I'm going to hang this ribbon around the neck. I'll put it a ribbon, it's not a ribbon. We'll get Kiara comfortably set up, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to quickly thread the machine because I've forgotten to do that. I'm using um, a jersey needle to do this. Oh, my sewing machine's on the wobble. It's not sat flat. What have I stuck it on? What have I done here? It sat on a bobbin. And now I've dropped my pants. Here we go. So, let's get all that lined up. Sorry, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm aware I've just moved that. And I'm just going to quickly choose a zigzag stitch of number seven and I'm going to make it quite narrow, it doesn't need to be ever so wide. And I think I'm going to go for a 2.5 width, so the zig and the zag, so zig, zag, zig, zag, the swing is going to be about 2.5 millimetre. Louise asks how close do you sew the zigzag on the el elastic lace? I will show you. Um, I am, if it's too wide, if that zig and zag swing is too wide, I'll take it down to a two as I go and we want it to be quite a decent length. I'm going to decide on the length as I go, but I will tell you. So I'm going to start in just a little bit. 
Now my machine can play up a little bit at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hand lower my needle down and I'm going to wind it on the first stitches so I can decide whether I'm in the right place or not. So at the minute I am too far left. Okay, I'm too far that way. So I'm just going to bring the needle up and I'm just going to nudge my fabric over and let's see what this now looks like. That's better. So what I'm looking for is the zag when it swings to the right, I want it to be almost a millimetre away from the edge of the fabric down here. I'm going to slow the machine right down to the slowest so you can try and watch really closely how this goes. So I'm not pulling anything for those first few stitches. We've got enough going on trying to get everything lined up. It doesn't matter for that tiny bit. So we're far too close together in terms of the length. Let's see what that's like. Right, so there we go. It's actually very close together, that zig and zag. Just wonder if I've got another. I have. I'm going to change my setter to number eight. Like I said yesterday, I am very much playing with this machine at the minute. But this is the fun of it. And this is why we hand crank, to make sure we're happy with what's happening. In fact, it's a little bit more of a lightning bolt, that one. Let's see what that does. That's better. Ooh. So it's doing a bit of a lightning bolt. So if I can just have a look, can it look at me a second? Lightning bolt, when we talk about a zigzag, it's very clearly zig zag zig zag zig zag lightning bolt is harry potter scar it's more of a see what i mean so it's like a squash distorted zigzag it is fine to use that on jersey fabric what it's going to give you is a narrower zigzag but it still allows for stretch so it's really good to use on this no problem at all um, but what it's given me compared to the original stitch is that length in the stitches that we want so we're in, so now I'm going to start pulling. Like I said, my finger's here. Watch how far it comes to about there. That's not even half a centimetre of me pulling that. And off we go. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. Oh, I can't work that slow. It would drive me mad. And we're just staying quite close to the edge. And I'm going to work all my way down. So I've got that. Just hold it again gentle pull and we're going to work all the way down to the gusset area straight across and back up the back of the underwear if you've got a child who's a little bit sensory these sorts of pants are great for them because you obviously can think about what fabrics and fibres they do get on with and you can make it a bit more suitable for them and then hopefully they won't complain as much no guarantees though when I do the other side I will just speed up a little bit more but I am going to put in the um, elastic on both sides before I take it over to the next step any questions or anything that anybody wants to ask me about pants or otherwise have we got many people watching 17 excellent lovely is anybody here new to watching me do these lives they are quite new for me too we have a bit of fun it's a bit cackling at times but we try our best with what we've got Bearing in mind, I've been working all day as well. So I'm just still work pulling ever so slightly, but not much. And as I get to the edge, I'm going to release that tension now. I'm not going to do anything, just let it take its own edge. There we go. Reverse a little. Oh no, I meant to reverse, but I've just chopped that off. But it doesn't matter, it's okay. Kathy said, would you always use an overlocker on these? No. 
No, nope, not at all. You can just go straight in with your pan, uh, with your um, sewing machine. It's fine as long as you're just always using your zigzag stitch. So now I'm going to go straight to the other end, and like I say, I will increase the speed a little bit. Again, we are nice sides facing nice sides. Simon said, "Why are you choosing to use an overlocker and not a sewing machine?" I used an overlocker for one of the seams. Um, I'm trying to demonstrate as much as anything that either is suitable. Um, and I am making these exactly how I would be making them. You know, if I was just here on my own making a pair of underwear, this is this would be my preferred method. In the leg area, I don't want too much bulk. And I think that when you use an overlocker, you're going to have four threads wrapping around the edges and that starts to create a bit of bulk. And I don't know about you, Simon, but I don't like a visible panty on me. Again, that is another reason why I don't make them with the leg bands. I don't know if that's too much for you, Simon. I don't want you blushing, love. <laughs> Jeanette, put, I'm new here, enjoying this and learning. Sorry, but can I ask what, what, what fabric for the gossip? What fabric? Yeah, absolutely. My needles just, uh, my thread's just snapped, so I'm just going to re-thread that as I go as well. Um, so, Jeanette, I was this, I'm assuming you didn't watch yesterday, but yesterday live, and I've shared it now onto YouTube, I made a t-shirt um, yesterday afternoon, and um, I had quite a, well, a, a decent sized remnant of this fabric, so I said, well, I'll make myself a pair of pants and early on I was saying I might also <laughs> I might have seen your thing uh, Simon I might also make a little top to go with it as well a little singlet a bit like a little vest and pants set the fabric is Tilly and the Buttons fabric um, it's not organic I do prefer organic or bamboo this is not it's the first range that Craft Cotton Company tried with stretch fabric and by their own admittance may well not have been their best but their systems are so much better now. I bought a lot of the Tilly fabric when it was first released about four years ago now um, and made quite a few t-shirts with that and I I really like the fabrics. It's actually got, it's got a very nice soft feel to the skin. So yeah, jerseys are really good for making underwear. I mean I'm sure you know that anyway but you know, they, you don't need much fabric. And then it's up to you in terms of your gusset. I mean, for goodness sake, if you want to make a mix and match pair of pants, do every panel in a different fabric for all you like. Um, the gusset, I would normally use, I, I could use two of the same, but I, I actually have a little stash of cream um, bamboo because obviously it's just a little bit healthier against your skin. Um, and also obviously it's allowing me to have um, a bit extra to make that singlet vest if I want to. Right, so now I'm just going to trim that off and I'm going to go back to the desk to the iron. Kathy asked what would you call that lace slash elastic? This. Um, a bargain. I think I paid 50p for this from boys. Boys normally do a really nice range of underwear elastic. I had tons of it and then I decided in a mad room clear out, I'm not making underwear anymore. So I threw it all away and then I need to go and buy some yesterday. But look how pretty it's coming up. So let's go to the desk and I'll show you what I'm going to do now. Making my way. Making our way. So I'm just going to quickly um, trim down my threads. Um... Yeah, make sure I've caught that. If there's any imperfections, I apologise. Um, I did say, and I didn't do it, I would recommend you sew your layers together with the two gusset pieces before you do this next stage. That looks wonky. That's a bit wonky. <laughs> um, and I didn't do that, but um, I'll, I'll make it work or I'll go back later. Now, some people will say, what, well, what you want to do now is fold that if we call it seam allowance because we understand that terminology and we're going to fold it under under the pants can you see it's puckering ever so slightly and that's because i've been stretching the fabric because we want to have that little bit of a stretch so i'm just going to iron it over 
just to try and encourage it to stay in place. Next. Jeanette Pot, thanks for that info. That's fab and we'll do my research later. Bamboo is a great call. Bamboo and um, yeah, anything like that. Oketex, um, certified fabrics, really, really good. Um, oh, don't use an iron that's gonna spoil your thing like I just did. Um, just be careful with that. I'm telling myself, I've got a bit of something on it. I've just noticed. We don't want that. But yeah, making pants is quite nice, you know. It's just I never much think to do it. But this remnant was too small to do anything substantial with, but too big to get rid of. Judge me. So now what we're going to do is go along this edge, and this is where we do want a zigzag stitch just to run along, and Tote. that'll hold all of that in place. So but would bamboo not give you splinters? Splinters. <laughs> it might. Depends where you're getting it from, Toke. For anybody that doesn't know, Toke's my brother and he's clearly a bit stupid. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that bit that didn't catch with the bamboo, with the um, bamboo lining, I'm just going to pin it as I finger press it under instead. So you can see how I'm going to get around that little issue. Has Kiara got this camera on a wobble? Because from where I'm stood, it looks well wobbly. It is a little bit, but I'm not sure how to fix it. Also, Abby Graves put hello, Lucy. Hello. How are you doing, Abby? I, think I fixed it. Oh, never mind, I didn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if anybody's looking for a job to be my camera lady, Kiara's lost her job. <laughs> I'm trying to Kiara loses her job with me quite a lot. I see okay. Saka quite a lot. And then you rehire me. I do rehire you. I, I normally rehire you within the same conversation normally. Yeah. Tote Boy is a creative position. It is. So I'm just rather than, obviously I ironed on the other side, but I've just got a little bit of something on there and I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. So I'm just finger pressing it underneath and pinning it instead. I'd be put, I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? Really good. Life is superb. Thank you. I love seeing your little update, seeing how you and Dom are getting on. Always nice to see you. Right. Do you like this? Pada. I don't want that, but thank okay. you very much. Kiara's trying to offer me a seam roller. A seam roller. But that would be no good with bouncy duos, eh? James, but I'll be your camera lady, but Kiara will need to do my shop shifts. <laughs> fair, fair trade. No. I wouldn't want to do the shift when all the kids come in, though, James. Whew. No, thank you. Do you have no stock left if I was on there? No. All the prime would be gone, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going back to the sewing machine, and now I'm going to be sewing with a little zigzag along that edge. So let's decide what zigzag we want now. The charger was in. Okay. Let's try number five this time. We're learning this machine as we go here, aren't we? Let's have a look at 2.5 by 3. So just as we did before, and I'm going to slow that speed all the way down again, I'm going to hand crank until I'm happy with where the zig and the zag of the needle is going to go. So I'm just going to hand crank it over. See, now, that needle, can we see clearly there, uh, Kiara? As I take that needle down, it's right on the edge. And I think we want it further on the fabric. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift the needle, uh, shift the fabric until I'm happy with where it lands instead. That's better. I'm happy with that. There we go. And then we will work our way along. Turn that speed up. Oh, I don't think that's doing anything. I do like my new machine, but it's been a bit of a pain at times. Right, Kiara, while I'm dealing with this, what I would like you to do is take the camera over there and talk to the people about our exciting news while I deal oh, with this. Yeah. Please, because I've got a proper jam now. Lovely. Okay, so, hello. What we've got at the minute is 
on the, was it the 14th we said? 14th. 14th at 11 o'clock, 14th of October. Yes? Yes. We will be going live and we actually have some bundles to show you all and it is for the witch bag. The Woodlow's bag. The Woodlow's bag. And it is the... I'm just going to show a pattern. It is actually this bag. And we are going to be showing some bundles that we have made up for it. So it's all very exciting. And what will I be doing, Kiara? You'll be making one. Lucy will be making one. So, your husband put what size are you making? It's because my husband's rude. <laughs> I've got a proper jam here, everyone. My Thank fabric you. has pulled all the way underneath. There we go, got it. We're just hoping that that live goes a little less full of mistakes and accidents than this one. <laughs> I mean, look, this stuff happens, though. That's why yeah. I always say it happens. And Jersey, it can be a bit of a pain, you know, getting cinched down. Um, some machines now, they come with these different base plates. I don't know whether people can see at all. I can't. I'll bring it, I'll bring it back over okay, and I'll so show I'll quickly fix. So what I've had to do, um, where the... I got it. <laughs> I saved it. Where the needle goes up and down, this plate, there's a hole. And in that hole, some of you may already be familiar, the fabric can get trapped and it normally happens when we're using really slippy fabrics but a lot of more modern machines now you can buy them with different plates so you change the plate according to what um, fabric you're using which is a really good idea so for example you might have a, a smaller hole is what I'm saying. Kathy put love that bag her sister has already put her order in for one. Good stuff. Turk put that's life yeah it is stuff happens and you know i used to really panic and freak out if things went wrong when i did things live and you know what everything i do there's always something happens and i just think but these are the things that you experience and somebody was saying to me yesterday i really like it when you make mistakes because i learn what to do myself then to so that point, it's always good to see someone in real life more realistic and james put his bound to happen when folks are watching Oh, it just happens anywhere, James. There we go, we're off. So what I might need to do is just give it a gentle pull again as I do this zigzag to make sure it sits nice and flat. I know why it's been falling. Pardon? I know why it's been falling. Oh. Because I didn't tighten it. Oh, I see. I see now. Right, I, just before we went live, because I thought we were running late, I pulled out a new piece of equipment and told Kiara to use that. <laughs> Um, I'm having issues. But with that, this is running really nicely now. We've got a lovely little zigzag stitch along the edge of these pants now. I've what, tightened it. What word do we prefer? Pants, knickers, undergarments. Undergarments. What are we calling them? Our wonder unders. Somebody was telling me the other day that, that yesterday that they make this underwear and they absolutely swear by them. So put Gwen would have loved them pants, a little bit of lilac and frill. Yeah, she loved the lilac, didn't she? So I was thinking about her earlier on Toke, I was telling Kiara all about her. Yeah. But also, um, Hayden once, for goodness sakes, Christ, I am accepting CVs. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, Hayden won on the tombola and he bought him a bottle of Yardley and I thought, oh, that's got my brand's name all over it. Do you know what else I've started doing Toke as well? You'll remember this. I've started buying proper bars of soap rather than plastic tubes of shower gel because it reminds me of my gran. And I use bars of soap now instead. Jeanette put my fabric got caught in, in my cover stitch machine in April. I panicked, managed to get out, but I haven't used it since. Yeah, just do, just go for it. Oh, I picked the reverse button. And then she also said we always call them drawers up in scalp style. Drawers, your knickers, get your knickers on. I don't, and some people call them panties. I, I feel really uncomfortable with that. 
So, I don't, I don't put we have a bar of soap at the moment too, and coffee agreed with dinner on drawers. Drawers, getting your drawers on. Need a proper pair of drawers. Right, because it's a bit sensitive as well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the thread off and rather than reversing, and the reason being is we're going to be sewing these edges in, so it's going to secure it nicely there anyway. Let so me show I've you that edge. Great natural soap shopping at Puff. Is that? Do you want to get me a bar for it? It's a treat. Look at that. Very really creepy. neat, isn't it? And look how that sits far as well. Mm. And if you wanted to, you could trim, you know, the, the raw edge of your lilac and stripe fabric down if you wanted to i'm sure it's not perfect all the way along do you know what i've done a pretty good job there right let's do the other side while we're on a a winner let's get that done do you know what if i call them panties on because my granny used to tell me off always draws why would she tell you off I hope they fit now. It's been a long time since I made these. I haven't measured myself. The bum might have got wobblier. But I figured if they don't fit like exactly as I want, I I sometimes like to sleep in clean underwear. You know when you've had a shower in the evening, I quite like it. Especially if I'm like hot or there's, I don't know, visitors in the house or Kiara wants to come and scare me when I'm asleep or something like that. I want to know my backside's covered. And this with like a little vest on would be quite cute. Do you know who does need some of these? Hayden. Because my son always sleeps. He always has the quilt wrapped around the top of his body and his bum's always hanging out, bumming his legs. <laughs> I've been put when I first moved to Ireland. I told my niece I was going out in my white pants. She was crying. She was crying laughing and that's what they call knickers here. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody watching Sewing Street this week? Are you aware it's manager specials week? So each day for two separate hours, one of the managers comes on and they um, basically flog stuff a lot cheaper. It's a, it's a good week to watch. I'm not going to lie about that. And I know I'm not on commission, so I don't have to say that, but they do have some really good bargains. I resisted buying a quilt today, but it is in my basket. I decided it would be a better use of time and money to finish off the quilt I've already started. Nearly there, folks. It's worth going slow because it, it is making for a really, really neat finish here. I don't advocate hands being behind machines. I don't know why mine is. There we go, we're at the edge. And we'll trim that thread off and then we're going to go back to the desk. Without falling. Without falling. And the jewellery is here and I like my number five stitch. That's the one I need to remember now. Number five for zigzags. Bit of a winning decision choice. Okay. Right, we're very <laughs> off balance. Hold on. Let me try and fix these things. Oh, I figured it out. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's the problem, you see. I bought this device. It cost £100 and it's rubbish. <laughs> what a waste of money. Does anybody want to buy a Jobo Gorilla Sand? Listen, no, this is easier than <laughs> all of the ring lights. So, right. all of. So, what we've got now is all of this pants. That's looking nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join the sides together. So right sides to right sides. And we're going to make up this bottom edge, make sure this bottom edge obviously matches. Because we've got a stripe, I'm going to do a bit of jiggery pokery and I'm going to make sure that meets. So I'm just going to pin the edges of the stripes first, like so. And now I'm just going to pull this down ever so gently so it meets on the edge here. And when these are all pinned, I'm going to overlock it. Because that's where we want a really neat edge because we're going to obviously be seeing this edge. 
and because I don't want to start at this edge where the pico edging is, we're going to start at the top. I've flipped my underwear over, slash panties, slash knickers, slash whatever else. Drawers. Pardon? Drawers. Drawers. Grandma's pants. Can't knock them. Um, so yeah, so just to recapture then, what we're doing is in October, October the 14th, there'll be loads of advertising going out about it. We're going to be going live for, I'm expecting an hour and a half, and I'm going to be making the Woodlows bag from start to end. We want you guys to choose the fabrics that we go with. Um, so it's the bag that you want to see at the end. So we'll be running polls on Instagram and Facebook and we will go with the majority. Everyone's Instagram, everyone's Facebook. Everyone's exactly. Everyone's everything. <laughs> and Lou is going to be working down in Bilston. She will be on air to try and capture um, content and all things like that. Lou works for me, obviously, a long way away. And I was going to say Kiara's going to be here on cameras, but Jesus, well, whoever gets the job will be doing that. Um, we're going to, I have set up a, a coffee account um, because everybody's given their time for free for this. I do this over and over again and I get nothing from it. Coffee, yes, can we sew along? Yeah, if you want, have it already, why not? Um, but we want to see progress, that's exciting. Um, and so yeah, I've set up a coffee account. We will make sure you've got the links. It's, gonna, it's like a tips jar. You know, Kiara works at the pub, she gets a, you know, a little tip come through, it's quite <laughs> nice. I've set up a jar, if anybody is prepared to put in a couple of quid, um, whatever we earn, we'll be dividing it between the three of us, because everybody's given their time for free, and I think it's a really, really useful resource for you all, so that'd be lovely. Um, but we'll make sure you've got that, and you know, obviously you don't have to, and I hate saying this kind of thing, but yeah, it'd be nice. Right, so now I'm going to the O-blocker, and I'm going to go straight down on these sides. And we're moving. We're moving. Let's keep moving. Okay. So I'm just going to lift that foot up, the little toe again. This time, what I'm going to do, you ready, is I'm going to cut off a couple of millimetres time. Now, if you notice, I always hold on to the first pin I take out. And I'm holding on to it so I can push the fabric under in case it kind of doesn't grip right at the start. So I use that to push it. There we go, and it takes it under, you see. Little tip. And I'm going to come straight off the edge. And we're going to leave the tail. Okay, leave that tail on there for the time being. Flip your fabric, so we're back at the top of the underwear. Lift the toe. We've got a slight overhang of a couple of millimetres. Take your pin out and keep it there. Push. And you're in. Jersey can be a bit of a pain to get started on the overlocker. So can you see here again? Let me just grab it again. I'm holding my pin, keeping those threads to the right that are hanging around, just to hold those together as best I can. And then it goes through. Let's go back to the desk. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Right, at the bottom of the leg, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to be looking for the two threads that come from the needles. Coffee so on my overlocker, they're the white threads. Coffee pot, I really do need to know how to work my overlocker, I think, is what she means. So I'm looking here at my threads. Can we see okay there? And I'm going to be teasing out as close to that pico edge, the white threads, if I can. And the white ones should just pull. See how they just came? If I'd have tried to do that with the purple threads, they would have got very knotty and horrible. But these will go nice and flat. And I'm going to tie these in a knot. What are you giggling at? Mm. Jeanette Pye, I love mine. It's the cover stitch that's scaring the heck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Why don't you just get rid of it, Jeanette? I've never bought one. Obviously, I've never bought one. And I don't think... I, I, I don't plan to, to be honest. I'm going to go to the other bottom of the leg. Who knows which threads I'm going to go for? Purple or white? Here's a test. I'm not going to do it until you tell me. Shall I do a pole? The white threads. Love the pole. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right, I'm not going to do it until this pole's being completed for Kiara's entertainment. As a clue, the white threads are the needles. The purple threads are the ones that are the loopers, 
Which threads do I need to pull? When I put the pull up, because it's taking me a bit of time. Hold on. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is reach for the waistband, which is this piece here. And I'm going to be joining together the two short ends. And I'm going to use my little zigzag stitch. I'm going to keep it nice and um, narrow. And I'm just going to stitch straight down. You can stay where you are, Kiara. James, also put yay, yeah, we love a pole. We love a pole. I love poles. See, I'm not, I'm not bothered. It doesn't give me the same degree of excitement as it does for you. But then Kiara, uh, Lou wants a pole today, didn't she? Exactly. I'm just not with it enough. Right. So I've stitched that end, so we've now just got one big loop of fabric. So I'm going to go in now and I'm going to press this seam open and flat. Now I'm sorry because anybody that was watching me, oh dear, oh dear, I didn't want to do that. Would you like the seam roller? Can, no. <laughs> you don't use a bloody seam roller when you're working with Jersey, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Can I have the other iron on please? It's okay. Good job that was on the inside, look. There you go. Clean the iron. That's what I need to do next. So Kiara's going to put the iron on. Oh, yeah. You're going to complete the poll. Oh, they're in. 66% voted white and 33% voted purple. Can you tell me who voted purple, please? Do we know who those idiots were? Uh, no. I better so know unless, unless you feel like owning up. Oh, it will have been James and Tote because they don't listen because they're boys. Boys. You're right, we're pulling the white thread. Apart from Simon though. S oh, Simon's fine, yeah. Simon listens. Simon listens. I nearly grabbed the iron by the Simon's a side. good student. So, Simon, in comments, can you please tell everybody what you call me? Keep it clean. What? <laughs> what he calls me when he sends me messages and things it'll come up in a minute you better be listening oh, anyway Toke said it no he said white he said white yes good lad your sister taught you something james put one of those idiots voting purple was me of course obviously i can <laughs> always rely on you james i don't know right and now i can just trim off the tops but i'm not going to go all the way down there isn't massive iron in the way Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Just going to give that little press down the side while we're there. Aren't they looking nice? The Bobby Dazzlers, aren't they? When it's all done, you can get like a little ribbon and sew and some beads on. Oh, you can get all jazzy with your knickers. Right, so we press that open and ruined it. And now we're going to iron it so we've got the raw edges all together, but the right side is showing all the way around. This is Mr Miyagi. It's me, Aggie. That's what he calls me. Christ. Love it. Always makes me stop. <laughs> what do you mean, Christ? <laughs> you like coming for your lessons, don't you, Simon? Simon's doing really well. Is he? Yeah. How far did that? How far? Yeah. What do you mean, how far? I don't. I can't remember what he's doing. He's what? What? Uh, you're making a bag at the minute, aren't you? You're making Lillington. That's right. He's mm. just been on his olibobs. Took his sewing away, made sure he could get on to watch Sewing Street on TV as soon as he got on his holiday, because that was the priority area. Made sure he could contact me, then he sewed. Took his sewing machine and he sewed. Oh, that's a terrible pen, that can go in the bin. He sewed and he sent me pictures of a um, coat he's been making for his dog. Also, Simon, I do apologise for today. It was me in the house, but I had my earphones in and I could hear nothing. <laughs> I did tell her off. Yeah. Yeah. I told her she was useless. That's just rude. So the process <laughs> that we're doing here, it's very much when we, like when we were doing the neck bands yesterday. What we would now be doing is finding the quarter marks. Sorry. I'm so bad, aren't I? Yeah. We'd be finding the quarter marks on this band and the quarter marks on the wonderwares and then making them all match. Get all this press first and then I'm going to sew this into place with the overlocker okay 
because if anybody didn't capture it yesterday, I want to show you how to sew in the round. So here we go, let's do this quartering. We've got our join mark just here. I'm going to take that to my left fingers and pinch it and smooth along until I've got this point here. And then I'm going to add in a little V just here. Just going to move it away with a little nick. I'm now going to open it up and take that nick and make it match that join line like so. And I'm going to smooth out to the left and the right and take little nicks out which will give me my quarter marks. What are you laughing at now? James, what, how did you get the iron to grow and now Chris is here? How did I get the iron to grow? Yeah. The iron grew. Mind you. Right, the knickers, everybody. So we know that we've got our two half marks there because they're already marked out. So we need the center of the front and the back. So the way that I'm going to do that is just join my sides together like so smooth to the right and take a little triangle out i feel like this is just a family tutorial quite frankly because that's my brother-in-law that's just joined in now yeah he put bestest brother-in-law here he is it's not a bad one right so we've got our quarters of our pants and of our underwear band so as we did yesterday can you see that's narrower it's quite a bit narrower to be honest with you <laughs> hopefully it's not oh. too tight but you know we'll see what you could do if you wanted to is just add this to the top but i'm going to go with what we've done already and you know, who knows right we need everything to be right sides together so i'm just going to flip that over and around and i'm going to take my center marking here and line it up to the center marking on the front of the underwear and i'm going to pin i'm going to go to the side of the band and line it up with the side of the pants and I'm going to pin round to the back and line that join line up with the centre back. There it is, couldn't find it then. And then we go to the sides. So that's all the way over there. So when they're made, they might, they're going to kind of cinch in at the top. So they might look, on, like on camera, they might look too tight. But when they're on my body, obviously that's, you, you kind of need a bit of ease to sort of make sure they, negative ease to make sure they stick to your body, really. Confess, what pattern are you using? So this is Waves and Wild, and it is the, it's the Wonder Unders. I always want to say Speedy Pants, but the Speedy Pants are for children. And this is the Wonder Unders. <laughs> For the adults, why are you laughing? Kids wear pants too, you know. It's just the way you said it. <laughs> it put you in the right is, position. Is, is Waves and Wild new to you all? Have you not heard of them before? I've never heard of them before. Are you familiar with Made by Jack's Mum instead? Because they used to be called Made by Jack's Mum. The, what, the, desi the designer changed their name, basically, from Made by Jack's Mum to Waves and Wild, and they're in Australia. Um, you might be familiar with probably their best known pattern, which is the Heyday Dungarees. Oh. Which is what you was wearing yesterday, Kiara, yeah. the ones that I gave you. Really, really nice pattern. It's a unisex pair of dungarees. However, and this is just my personal opinion, I think they look horrible on men. I just don't think that the cut shape is designed for men. And there's no pockets? There is pockets. You can put pockets wherever you want on them. I'm going to put pockets all the way down the, down the front. Oh, God. Right, so now we're going to go to the overlock, and I'm going to show you again how to sew in the round. Really important lesson. We're going to do it my way. My way or the highway. Right, is my brother and brother-in-law ready for this piece of magic? Okay, so the blade is engaged, and I'm going to lift the foot up. It's interesting because... People always say to you, never lift the foot up on an overlocker. And I think every time I come to it, I say to you, lift the foot up. Needles up as high as they will go. And slot it under, like so. And foot back down again. We're going to start sewing to that first pin. Take the pin out. Go to this pin, hold it, and pull it. It makes everything taut and the same length and we're going to sew to tidy up this edge. Do 
going to stop at the pin, take the pin out, and now we're going to work to secure this area here. So we hold the pin, we give it a pull, we make sure all the edges are even. Stop at the pin, take the pin out, hold the next one, pull it. Take the pin out. Go to the next pin. What are we going to do, Chiara? Christ, she's not listening. We're going to pull it <laughs> so the raw edges are even. <laughs> oh, I got distracted by the back of the overlock. We're going to take the pin out. If anybody wants to watch um, make alongs, with less malfunctions and staff that are compliant, I would highly re recommend So Over It. They do wonderful ones. They're all on um, their YouTube channel. They're free to watch. She also asks if people would donate to her coffee account. Um, yeah, so this is this is the way we do it here. Right, so I'm gonna pull, and what am I gonna do? You're gonna, gonna pull, pull it. Why am I gonna pull it? Because it is even. So it makes it all even, yes. Just Monday makes, isn't it? Monday makes, Monday makes pants. Keep going, pulling. Nearly there. So the Woodlows bag, we're going to be doing in oil cloth. We've pulled out three options, all in oil cloths. Did we go for two colours or one colour in the oil cloth? Oh, there was three different colours, yeah. wasn't there? Three different colours of oil cloth and three different fabric collections to go with them. So one was Tilda. One was... One was... Kay. Yeah, we did choose Kay Facet in the end, didn't we? Because everybody loves Kay Facet. Yeah. And... Did we use Liberty? I don't know whether we chose Liberty in the end, I'm not sure. Right, let's have a look. We're nearly at the end, so I'm going to sew until I'm about an inch away from this joining line here. So I'm going to still pull. Right, now, if I carry on sewing and overlap like most people do, we might overlap in stitches, but what we actually do, because the blade's engaged, is we end up cutting all of these threads that we've already done. Makes it a waste of time. What I'm going to do is open it all up. And I'm going to, do you know what I'm about to do? No. Disengage the blade. Oh. Take the blade down and out of the way. Kate and I'm going to... said Woodley should be in 70s colours. I can't... Oh, in loose colours. Maybe. So I've cut all the loose threads away. Close the drawer again. And now I'm going to carry on sewing. And I'm going to over... I'm going to overlock over that one inch. So if you have a look at the edge, how neat that is. We shouldn't be compromised now. Okay, I'll show you that close in a second. Needles up, lift the foot, turn the fabric away, and sew. Now let me show you close up. Nice and neat. So you can see it's slightly shadowed, which means it's overlapped nice and neat, but this edge is perfect. It's not been compromised at all. So all we now need to do is iron them. But not with the rubbish iron. No. Because it's rubbish. Exactly. And then we're there. Does anybody want to see the fabric bundles in advance? I mean, there's going to be loads of opportunities, let's be honest, but... but right here, right now. Right here, right mm. now. Exclusive look. <laughs> and... Oh, God. I always show you at me wear my clothes. Are you going to want to see these on me, people? Are you going to put money into the coffee account if I go put them on for you? <laughs> you you put, will throw us a quid. Do you not put yes, please, Catherine? Put oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, you want to see me in my pants? Or when yes, you put you yes, please. <laughs> right. Right, Kiara will go and get you the fabric from the lounge. Making them Making her way. I do want to. She's in a fast walk. Oh god, she's dancing. She's she's not. 
Honest to God. I'm not going to worry, got to be careful because there are things on it. Okay. Right. So, the pants. And are you ready for the big reveal? And which colour do they want first? Grey? Ta da da. Can we just appreciate my pants Sorry. first, please, Chiara? Sorry. There they are. There's the pants. There we go. All done. So, again, the inside with the gusset. It could have been slightly better, but you know, but these are my pants. And I've got enough fabric, hopefully, to make that little singlet. So that's how I did it. That's how we make the Waves and Wild pants. But that is our conclusion of bundles. So that's our, so far. That's our three bundle choices. So we'll take note, Brenda, but we're not going to obviously we need to do the poll the right way it's going to be on the facebook page um lose it's going to be on instagram as a this or that um purple at last or and it's going to be on facebook as a poll that we're going to be running but lou's going to be working on that in the background because we've got like a whole plan around this we had our a team meeting today a proper team meeting to organize this so it can hopefully run as smoothly as possible i've never done anything this ambitious before and um Chiara straight away put her hand up how are you gonna make a whole bag in an hour and a half Lucy <laughs> how straight away <laughs> how are you gonna do this and I said right that's why we need a plan that's why we need a plan but we are gonna do it and I am I will do it you will see that bag made up but with me I, I don't I don't I do all my things impulsively I can't follow the plan <laughs> and I'm a planner organizer so that's how we make it work Anyway, we've kept you all long enough. Thank you for tuning in again today. Um, if you want to see me make the singlet top, um, please let me know. It will be a new pattern to me, so, you know, it could go wrong. Who knows? Um, let me know. I might even... Ooh, I've had a plan. I might even build it in so it's like... You know, if that's like the neckline, like that, I might try and get that Pico edging in around here. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So if you want me to see, see me make that live, please let me know and uh, we'll get that scheduled in for you. You do make me giggle. I make you giggle. You make me giggle. You just do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.